So why don't we start with Leo? Leo is a fire sign. They're the fifth sign of the zodiac. The fifth house. That's the house of creativity, art, inspiration, exuberance, enthusiasm. Leos are so enthusiastic by nature. They are extremely inspiring people and they are leaders. They are loyal. Leo is ruled by the sun. They are the center of the universe and they know it. They are extremely aware of themselves, really have a strong love for themselves from the get-go, which is something to admire because if you love yourself, that's the most important thing. We all know it, but to Leo it comes naturally. They love themselves. A Leo that is not egotistical is an amazing spirit energy. If you have Leo in your chart, you need to use that to its most creative, highest potential. My boss is a Leo. Very inspirational, very motivating. They're loyal, very dramatic and theatrical. Playful, very warm, energetic, loving. Fifth house is the house of children and you know, your inner child and that beautiful light that is inside of everyone because they're ruled by the sun. They're the only sign ruled by the sun, which is why Leos can fall into being a little too egotistical because they do believe, and I guess rightly so, that they're the center of the universe because they're ruled by the sun, which is the center of our universe. So let's talk about Aquarius now. Aquarius is the opposite sign of Leo, the 11th house, the 11th sign of the zodiac. Well, in traditional astrology before Uranus, sorry if it bothers you that I say Uranus, before Uranus was discovered, because it wasn't that long ago, astrologers linked the sign of Aquarius with the planet Saturn, and it shared their planetary ruler. Just like in traditional astrology, Virgo shares the planetary ruler of Mercury with the sign Gemini. Well, there's a lot of new things and very exciting discoveries going on um, with modern astrologers. For instance, Christopher Wateki discovered that he is a Taurus. He believes that the Earth is actually Taurus's ruler and that Chiron is actually Virgo's ruler. Long story short, I don't really associate Saturn with Aquarius that much. I really just focus on Uranus, which is so far out in deep space. Aquarians are cold like that. They're very cool. They're very detached. There's a lot of unexpected things that happen whenever Uranus is involved. An air sign, so they're very intellectual. They're rebellious in nature. They don't want to conform to society because they are so um, innovative and psychic, actually. Aquarius and the planet Uranus are aspects or placements that you can have in your chart that indicate your psychic. Oh, they're both fixed signs. Leo and Aquarius are two of the fixed signs, which means their life has this stable, enduring quality about it. The, the, the reason why they're the water bearer is they are all about humanity, their fellow man. Aquarius has always been associated with the Greek myth Prometheus. What is Prometheus? Well, he stole the fire to bring it to the people. Technological and futuristic. They are extremely aware of society, whereas Leo is aware of themselves. My Jupiter and Mercury are both in Leo. I have that Leo energy. It's very personal for me because it's my Mercury. It's also my Jupiter, which they're conjunct. I also have that Aquarius energy because my moon is in the 11th house. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap things up. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Namaste.